A bicycle with 18 inch diameter wheels has its gears set so that the chain has a 7 inch radius on the front sprocket and a 4 inch radius on the rear sprocket. The cyclist pedals at 195 RPM, which is revolutions per minute. Find the linear speed of the bicycle in inches per minute. Okay, very best thing to do is be able to visualize what happens with the bicycle. So I've got a picture here so you can see the big sprocket and the little sprocket. And then there's actually the wheel of the bicycle going around here. So let's see what's going on here as we go 195 revolutions per minute because that's what we're starting with. So we've got 195 revolutions per minute. Now that's what the cyclist is pedaling. So that's what this gear right here, how fast it's going around. And this gear right here has a radius, that front sprocket is radius is seven. Now this little rear sprocket's radius was four. And then the radius of the wheel itself, well, it tells us the diameter of the wheel is 18. So this radius is nine. So we got a lot of different things going on here. So I'm going to call this, we're going to work with sprocket one. We're going to call this one sprocket sub one and this one sprocket sub two so that we can kind of see what's going on. As the cyclist pedals, that's how many times sprocket one is going around. So let's figure out in distance here. So we've got one revolution of sprocket one. As that goes around, it's going to go around 2 pi r, which is 7 inches. Okay, now this was revolutions of sprocket one because that's what the cyclist is pedaling there. Okay, so now we have inches per minute that's moving here, but we want to connect that back to sprocket two because that has to do with a wheel going around. Okay, so now we have inches per minute and that would be the kind of the linear speed if you were looking around the sprocket. But as you're moving around this sprocket, it moves the smaller sprocket. We're going to figure out one revolution of sprocket two, how many inches, how far that goes around, because that could be the connection between when this one is turning and going so many inches, how many times around this one will go. And so one revolution around that one is going to be two pi times its radius, and its radius was four inches. All right, so now what we have is revolutions of sprocket two per minute. Now think of the wheel there, that sprocket is fixed on the wheel. So every time the sprocket goes around, the wheel goes around. So now we can do one more conversion fraction and one revolution of sprocket two makes the wheel go around one time. And so what is the length or how far it travels as the wheel goes around once, and that's going to be 2 pi times 9 inches. Now I'm kind of squished in here for room, but what we now have is inches per minute, and that's what this wheel is traveling, and that's what we wanted to find because that's what means how fast the bicycle would also be going. So let's see what we can do. These two pies cancel right here. And it looks like if we just multiply the things, it says to round to two decimal places. So we multiply the things that are on top together. And then it looks like on bottom, we just have a four. And so to two decimal places, that's going to be one nine two nine seven point two three and that is inches per minute. That's the linear speed then of the bicycle. Now, how fast is the bike moving in miles per hour? So we can now just simply take what we found, which was 19297.23, and that's in inches per minute, and we're gonna go to miles per hour. So we got 60 minutes per one hour, and that'll get us in inches per hour. And then we've got to go to miles per hour. Um, I know how to do that once I have feet. So I'm going to do one more conversion to get it to feet. There's 12 inches in one foot. And then I know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. 
So I got rid of the inches and went to feet, and then I got rid of the feet and went to miles. So now I'm left with miles per hour. And so I just need to compute those numbers now. And I already have the first number in my calculator. So I'm going to keep that in there. And I'm going to multiply by 60. And then I'm going to divide by, and I'm going to make a parenthesis because there's two different things there. I'm doing 12 times 5,280. And it looks like I get 18.27 to two decimal places miles per hour for the bicyclist.